hi, Xenon. Go away, Xenon. We can't hang right now. Looks like you two have quite a mess to clean. Yep, we've been grounded. Our parents won't let us leave the house until this is cleaned up. Trust me, Xenon, you don't want to be here right now. My sister's in a very bad mood. Yeah, whatever. I heard that. Just go away, Xenon, before you get us into more trouble. Maybe I can help. What happened? It's all Yuri's fault. No, Ruth started it. You're the one who said I can't cook. You're the one who started throwing food at me. Goodness, you had a food fight. Yuri, what is that you're cleaning? My sister made blood pudding with pickled Brussels sprouts. Somehow most of the pudding landed on the walls, and most of the pickled Brussels sprouts landed on the counter. Did she get the recipe from vomitusfoods.org? Yep, that's the one. Yuri, are you trying to clean up blood pudding with this? You're not using the right cleaning solution. Um... Mom said don't use toilet cleaner in the kitchen, so I switched to this stuff. This cleaner is acidic and blood is a base. Ruth, you're having the same problem. It appears you're trying to clean acidic pickled Brussels sprouts with an alkaline cleaner. You two should try switching your cleaning fluids. <laughs> well, look! That dissolved the blood. That's lovely. The rule in chemistry is, like dissolves like. Acids dissolve acids and bases dissolve bases. You need a cleaner with the right pH to get the job done. What do you mean? You might recall that ions are atoms or molecules with an imbalance of protons to electrons. pH is a measurement of hydrogen ion concentration in solutions. An acid donates hydrogen ions and has a pH measurement of less than 7. A base, on the other hand, neutralizes an acid and generates hydroxide ions. These have a pH of above 7 and as high as 14. Blah, 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 Xenon. Who cares as long as we get this kitchen clean and get out of here? I'm listening. Water, of course, is also known as H2O. It generally has a neutral pH of exactly 7, but it can break into both hydrogen ions and hydroxide ions, forming a weak acid or a mild base. That's why water is considered the universal solvent. It can dissolve almost anything. <laughs> Let's test your hypothesis. Ruth! Why on earth? Well, you didn't dissolve xenon. It just goes to show that Miss Smarty Pants here doesn't always know what she's talking about. Ruth, that was kind of mean. But... It does prove Xenon's not a witch. Good heavens! Why would you... Oh, yeah, Yuri. Like that old movie we saw last week. Sorry, Xenon. I guess I overreacted. Like when you started throwing food at me? You had it coming. Hey, look, Ruth. Xenon was right. Look how shiny the counter is looking now. <laughs> Thanks, Xenon. I don't care what Ruth says. You're pretty smart. Uh, thank you, Yuri. And Ruth, apology accepted. Say, Xenon, in case we ever get into another food fight, how do we know how to figure out whether something's an acid or a base? This is pH indicator paper. It will change colors as you dip it into any liquid. Why don't you each spray a few drops of cleaning solution on the counter for me? What are we supposed to do with this? <sighs> Distilled water. Perfect. On the count of three, let's all dip pH paper into our drops of liquid. One, two, three. Whoa, that's some trippy kind of magic, Xenon. Oh, maybe you are a witch. N no, Ruth. We simply match the new color of our pH paper to this chart. Oh, look. My cleaner is a base. Yeah, and mine is an acid. And Xenon? You're just nothing. Neutral, Ruth. Distilled water is pure. No dissolved minerals like tap water, so again, it can break down into either a mild base or an acid. I guess that explains why you can melt a witch with water, but not you, Xenon. 
Come again? You are strong and independent, Xenon. Witches? They must be kind of weak if you can dissolve them in water. Well, you do realize that movie you watched was just a fairy tale. Yeah, Yuri. That girl in the movie? Come on, we all know humans are a myth. Yeah, but talking scarecrows and flying monkeys? I don't know, Ruth. Sounds to me like it's based on a true story. Follow the munchkin rainbow, follow the munchkin rainbow, follow the no, munchkin no, rainbow. No, 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 the rainbow. song goes, follow, follow the, the fork in the road, follow the, the fork in the road, follow the fork in the road, follow the, 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 road. Follow the, the stop messing up my song. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. No one can listen to our amazing theme music who hasn't subscribed. And hit the like button. Subscribe. Like. Subscribe. Like it. 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 Like it.